Hey there guys, it's Misty here from The Joyful Delph. Welcome back to another card video. Today I'm gonna to be using this perennial birthday stamp set along with this piece of the Sweet Soray Designer Series paper to make a card. Now I've already done most of the work ahead of time. That way you can get a feel for what it looks like if I do all the cutting on camera and what it will look like if I don't. So you guys just let me know what you're thinking down in those comments down below. If you're liking this change, if you would rather just see my hand, let me know. <laughs> so, like I said, I've already done a bunch of stuff ahead of time just to save time. <laughs> I cut down a piece of that designer series paper to a four by five and a quarter. I used the largest stitched oval to cut a piece of Whisper White. I used, I think this is the largest scallop oval to cut a piece of Berry Burst. And then I'm using the second piece, the leftover piece of cardstock that I had yesterday um, from that Berry Burst card and I've cut it, um, screwed me, scored it at four and a quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this adhered using my Tumbow Liquid. You'll be happy to know I found scissors. <laughs> so I will be using ribbon. I'm so excited. Next, I'm gonna bring in a piece of this Clipsal Coral Shimmer Ribbon. This ribbon is available in the Trio Pack in the Celebrations Catalog, um, which of course is ending at the end of the month. So um, this is beautiful. I hope these colors, like if they could do almost all the my favorite colors in this ribbon, I'd be happy, I would be happy. I would just buy ribbon. <laughs> I would just buy ribbon. So I'm gonna use a piece of washi tape to adhere this down. You guys know this trick by now from me. It's my favorite way to adhere ribbon so I don't have to waste a ton of it because it's so pretty. <laughs> I want to use it and hoard it at the exact same time. Isn't that the story of Ever Crafter's life? Right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I'm gonna adhere this to my card base using dimensional adhesive. Dimensional? Do I always say it like that? Dimensionals? Maybe I do. I don't know. I'm questioning my whole life. <laughs> Peel off the backer sheets. So are, there, are any of you guys on spring break? I know most of the Texas schools are. You can hear the um, neighborhood kids outside playing. It's a beautiful day in Texas. It's like 60 and sunny. Um, yesterday it was a bit cooler and then it was really cold this weekend but and our gas bill was like like a hundred and sixty dollars and we just have gas heat and gas um, stove like it was in a fireplace but it was like that's I think that's the most expensive one we've had in several years so and then of course Rob turned up the pool because we have a pool and you have to you know the timer has to run the pool has to run for every one hour for every 10 degrees outside. So if it's 60 degrees, you run for six hours, etc. And I'm like, <laughs> our electric bill this summer is not going to be fun. But that's okay. So let's go ahead and stamp. I should have stamped first because I'm stamping with my um, basic black archival, but that's all right. So I'm using the sentiment that says, um, Birthday cheers all around. I'm gonna ink this up using archival ink. Perfect. 
Then I'm gonna bring in two of the flowers from that stamp set, and I'm gonna be doing some stamping off. So, you know what, I wanna use a scrap piece of paper for this. Eh, no, it'll be fine. So I'm just gonna put one there. Put one there. Kinda of doing like a triangle. There. That's probably enough. Go ahead, just, I'll just step off over here. To get a little bit of a smudge. I'm gonna use my Tombow Mono Sand Eraser. Apparently this to get rid of ink. It's not. That's okay. I have a white gel pen and we'll fix it that way. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> gel pen, come back! What in the world? So I'm going to use a Uniball Signo white gel pen to clean up my mistake. I so I'm going to be watercoloring these flowers today, but I'm not going to be using a whole lot of water because I'm actually going to be using my Winca Stella. So I really love how um, sparkly the background is, the background paper. Um, I almost embossed in silver, but I really wanted there to be a bit of contrast and the black provides that. But I'm gonna be using clips of coral, so I'm just gonna squeeze the ink pad. And then I'm also gonna be using um, Old Olive once we get there. I'm gonna be using a Wink of Stella pen. And I'm just gonna get this started on the side. And again, I don't want it to be very, very wet because this is not watercolor paper. I just want it wet enough that it provides some shimmer. It's just a little subtle hint the shimmer. If you don't want it dirty the inside of your ink pad, you could also um, put some ink on an acrylic block and pick it up. You could also use our watercolor pencil. There is a Clipso Coral watercolor pencil in there, or you could color using the Stampin' Blends. If you color with the Stampin' Blends, you're gonna to want to use the Memento Tuxedo Black rather than the um, basic Blacet Black Archival because those two inks don't go well together. I'm using Basic Black Archival because it is a waterproof ink. You can lighten this as much as you want to. I like it pretty vibrant. Those of you who know me know that. <laughs> I mean, there's a place in my heart for a couple of soft pastels, but for the most part, I love bright and vibrant colors. 
So I meant to say this in yesterday's video and I forgot, but I mentioned in the plan with me video, I would go see if Modify Ink is still open and they're not. I'm so sad to hear that because they closed Basic Gray to open that and I can't find it. Like when I go to the website, it asks me for a password. So I'm assuming that means they're no longer in business, which is sad because it was, I mean, I liked it. They were really nice. And I know a lot of people loved um, Basic Gray stamp products. I guess they had more paper products, but so yeah, that's, that's kind of sad, but I guess that stuff happens. So don't forget, you just have a few weeks left to take advantage of Celebration or to sign up as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I have more info about that on my blog. If you have any questions, um, etc., you can, or sign up for a demonstrator and get two free stamp sets. You can always sign up for a demonstrator to be a demonstrator. But um, so if you have any questions about that, just let me know. You're feel free to text me, email me. Um, don't call, I won't answer. <laughs> I mean, you could call, leave a message, but I don't, I never answer phone calls because it's, there's said that phishing scam where they call, you answer, and then they grab your number and they use it to call other people. And the only reason why I learned of that is because someone called me and left me the rudest message threatening to take legal action. And I called back. I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, I've never called you before in my life. He's like, someone has grabbed your number and they're using it to harass people basically. And I was like, Ooh, so much for that do not call list, right? So I'm gonna hear those two together just like that. So I try not to answer unless it's somebody I know. And even then, sometimes I don't. The first time, because either I'm filming and I don't like to answer my phone when I'm filming, or I'm busy, so I'm not saying I don't like to talk to people. Clearly, that's not the case. <laughs> Clearly, I'm just not, I don't think anybody's a big phone talker, right? I like to multitask and I can't really do that when I am talking on the telephone. I wanna add just a bit more shimmer, so I'm gonna bring in another Wink of Stella pen that isn't quite as dry. Gonna get adhered with dimensionals. You don't have to use as many as I do. I just like to make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. You could stamp an inside sentiment if you wanted to, but I am gonna leave this one blank. I'm gonna bring in some rhinestones. I'm gonna put the big rhinestones Come on now. Thank you. <laughs> I put the big rainstones. Oh, they don't want to fit. They don't fit there. It'll fit enough. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on now. Who knew I'd be wrangling? Wrangling up on some. Uh, what are they called? Rhinestones today. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm finishing the touches on this. Don't forget, you can head over to the blog 
um, to get the coordinating blog post and to print the recipe. Um, you'll also find the supply list, this month's hostess code, and the special that I have going on for the end of the month. If you missed that announcement video earlier today, I am offering um, a perennial birthday project thing um, where if you purchase that with, along with the stamp set using the hostess code, then you will get um, four free projects, exclusive projects. So I'm really excited about that. Again, you can find all that information in the description box down below if you're not sure how to access that. If you're on mobile, you click the um, arrow to the right of the um, title. <laughs> and if you are on a desktop, you can click the show more button and it'll and that's where it is. So you'll find the link to the blog post, all of my supplies, social media, etc. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you had a fantastic day and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.